Right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my uh, sixth round Rebel match. Um, the state of playing this is obviously I've qualified already um, with the other one, um, the Deutsche Blood Bowl League. Um, but if I qualify from here, there's a chance to double qualify and wield some power um, determining who else qualifies with me, but I'm not really bothered about that. I'm just trying to, you know, try my best for the good of the competition. Um, I'll give him hello here. So the state of play is that um, at most there'll be one, two, uh, at most there'll be three five one zero teams. So one five zero one team minimum one five zero one team will qualify. At the moment, that's Ornan with plus seven touchdown difference. Um, I have plus five touchdown difference, and the other people who've won four, lost one, have got plus four. So I have the advantage in that, and probably in strength of schedule as well. Um, so I will probably have the absolute uh, best chance of anyone <laughs> um, who have remained a play of qualifying. Halub would have to beat me two or three nil, basically. Um, if he wants to qualify, so whether that whether he'll try to do that or whether he'll just try to two one grind me, um, I, you know, you'll probably will just try to two one grind me, which won't be enough for him to qualify. Uh, but we'll we'll see what happens anyway. Um, he's got an outside chance because the the, the teams that are four one one four one zero could draw against each other and and let him in. I mean, they could all be draws. No, no one could go five one zero. So they, you know, they could, <laughs> all the people on four one zero could all draw, and then everyone who's won five lost one could qualify. So, you know, it is it is all to play for for him. Um, but you know, obviously with me, I'll, I'll still try my hardest ish, as hard as I can try while streaming. <laughs> Always do worse streaming, but there you go. He's got a very interesting build here. He has a guard. A guard blocker, which makes sense, sense, and a dodge blitzer, which makes sense, and a mighty blow one, and a tackle one, um, and a dirty player, and a show sure hands, and then for some reason, for some reason, unbeknownst to him, un unbeknownst to anyone but him, should I say, he has a pass. He has a pass blitzer, and he's actually <laughs> left his wrestle tackle guy. On the bench against a team with um, three, four, five, six dodge players. That's an interesting strategy, isn't it? But you know, I, I, he should he should really he should really get hammered here because he should try to win three one uh, or three nil or something. He basically got to win three two or three nil to qualify, so he should play a bit crazy. But I don't think he will because obviously. If he plays a bit crazy, he's liable to lose to Wood Elves, isn't he? So it's a bit of a tough position for him. I would go for a six one. Yeah. It's funny because I was in a I was in a horrible position um, before after game four or something. I was in a horrible position. But game five, winning three nil, has actually put me top of goal difference. Yeah, that was maybe just a bit silly, wasn't it? The trees are always going to get punched against dauntless people. But he could have failed the dauntless there, couldn't he? And uh, he, it would have been an uphill had he failed it. So, and it's not an easy dauntless. So he's given me some information about his play style there, hasn't he? He's actually my best uh, my best sacker, wasn't he? I've just realised that wrestle guy who's been instantly killed. Uh, <laughs> with him having sure hands, he was actually my best my best sacking for it. Hmm. Instantly taken out.
And spell differently is nice. <laughs> hmm. Is he out of range of the dancers? I think he is. No, he's not. I could hit him. I could literally just hit him with a dancer. Catcher could could go all the way around. And I could two dice him straight off the bat here with just a leap and some dodges. It's not even hard. It's seriously not even hard. The other way is to blitz him and kind of split the field a bit. I don't. I don't even hate going for this. Fuck it. I'll just go for it. I've got four rerolls. One. One, two, three, four. If it fails, it fails. Aha. Dodge is gone. <laughs> Double one. <laughs> Double one in a stunt. Oh well. And right next to the dirty player. Maybe I should have tagged the dirty player before I went for that. Because now this dancer's getting fouled, 100%. That was actually a really good chance to sack it after all this worked. Very lucky that he's going to get a huge entire team gang foul on him as well. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, I probably, probably should have. Uh, I probably should have. Uh, probably should have tagged the dirty player there. <laughs> fuck. Oh Christ. Oh god, oh, this is going to be horrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is hilarious. This, if, you're, if you're a fan of Westworld, um, isn't this a funny little, a funny little thing that I've found here? Very, very funny. Very funny. Uh, Gunfighting tips from Westworld. There you go. Very good. Yeah, really should have tagged the DP. Fuck.
It is interesting, isn't it, Wolfgang? Yeah. Oh, it was a Jim Fowl! It was a Jim Fowl! <laughs> banged on! You have been banged on! I could surf this little uh, little shithead uh, thing for the cost of half the team. Well, I guess he could come back to there. Push him to there, push him to there. And then just blitz him off. No, uh... No to that, then. Three D, this little... Fuckhead. Give him to the tree. Oh, <laughs> Kazim! <laughs> you have been banged on. <laughs> he just need to hand off the pass, go over. Yeah, it was that was a weird, a weird old thing, wasn't it? The uh, the friend, but the friend, the pass. I'm I'm really not sure on his reasoning for the pass there. Oh well, do you know what? I'll tell you why. I I I've done in this disservice here at the start. It's because of the rebel having attacks on uh, on duplicate skills and tier one and tier two skills, so. That, that's why he's got it. That's why he's got it. He, he couldn't have just had dodge instead because he wouldn't have had the points to just have dodge instead or guard. So, so that's why. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, they did make a rule set that helps Wood Elves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did. Through the other chair. Yeah, he could have probably had something. Wrestle on a on a blitzer would have probably been better, wouldn't it? He could have leader be tier two, past tier one. So Yeah, to be fair. You would have to have something crap, whatever he did. <laughs> I don't think it's quite that bad, BZL. <laughs> I don't think it's quite that bad, but yeah, I, I understand it. To be fair, at first I was like, "What the fuck," but then, um, but then I thought, you know, the the different leagues want to put their own stamp on it, don't they? So I kind of understand it. Yeah, UKBBL was the dumbest thing ever because every everybody who's got a clue about Blood Bowl looked at that and said, "Okay, you've got to make ridiculous min max dwarves then." And that's what everyone did, who's got a clue. <laughs> so, well, you, to be fair, you look at the rule set and you th you look at the UK BBL rule set and you think you have to make min-max dwarves or you have to make min-max Amazons. Now, there's kind of no point making the min-max Amazons because everyone else is going to have the min-max and the min-max dwarves. <laughs> so, yeah, really, really was pretty, pretty dumb. Pretty dumb rule set by the UK BBL folks. I don't think I want to one dice the ball here, do I? I think I should just... Wow, four plus dodge. Dirty Dino. Oh, 
got no idea. I've got no idea. BZO. No, they probably wouldn't know because they they've done it themselves. They've uh, what's it called? Um, Rebel did this themselves, so they have like it's their own. They made the bracket and everything themselves, and it's not it's not using the uh, the you know bad cyanide rules for things. Would really like to have got people in front, wouldn't I? But um can't. Double GFI for the tree here, or just a one to tag him. I think double. <laughs> oh baby, that's a pretty solid hinge from changing directions now. I might be forced to score early. Yeah, it is a lot of work, yeah. It is it is a lot of work. That was what put the DBBL off doing that. And I guess a lot of people got put off by doing it, but uh, Rebel did it did it properly. So yeah, fair play fell fair play to Rebel making making their own making their own Swiss so they could actually have a proper Swiss tournament instead of making do with a crappy cyanide one. So yeah. I mean you may not agree with the with the rules that they use for team creation, but um, I think they've definitely run it very well. Is he going to score here or not? Try and win six one. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. I don't have I don't have a a crappy Harry Kane wardens that uh, score deflections and tappings, unfortunately. All right, congrats, congrats, congrats. So he's down to 11 now. So despite that harsh first block, <laughs> um, it's gone pretty spectacular. The Jim Foul, the Jim Foul, and the Kaz on the uh, Dodge guy. Unbelievable. Yeah, I guess it is.
Oh, oh me. To win, to qualify. Yeah, from a tall distance of six inches. He's like the, uh, he's like the, the fucking graphic they did on Match of the Day. What's he called? Uh, that guy, the German. Um, fucking hell, I can't remember his name. What was the, what was the German called? It was like Pol Polish name, wasn't it? Ish, was it Polish? Paul ish. Polish ish. What was he called? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> um, what was he called, man? Fuck about. Can't remember his name. Yeah, Miroslav. That's the one. Miroslav. Miroslav doesn't sound very German, does it? Confirmed as not trying to qualify. That's bad news for me if I wanted to qualify. But um, seeing as I don't really care about the qualifying, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, Miroslav Klose, yeah. Klose sounds pretty German, but Miroslav doesn't, does it? Pretty important to get some cover on the ball. <laughs> fucking shithead. <laughs> shithead fucking peasant. Been pretty good against the tree as well, isn't it? Just quietly. <laughs> oh God, exposing the dancer here with the tackle hit. <laughs> Might as well re-roll it, eh? Just because I've got four. Wouldn't have done normally, but...
it to him, block him, block him. Dodge him, maybe. Tree could go in there. Risky there, wasn't it? That double one there would have been uh, annoying, to say the least. Pretty safe for the tree there, isn't it? Job. Plan now is to just to go go one one and then don't know turn eight score and then just cross any bridges when we come to them. Just play it how it comes, isn't it? I mean, the, his plan is to shut me out here, isn't it? By the looks of it. If I fail to score, then I'll have to score early to go for the 2 1 win, won't I? If I score on turn 8, then we'll see. I mean, I should try to win 3 1, really. Uh, if I was really trying, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know how much I should try for the 3 0. Uh, the 2 win by 2 touchdowns. Because if I win by 1. I've got the best, probably got the best touchdowns for and best uh, best strength of schedule. So one win by one's got the chance of qualifying me. Um, but again, I, I'm not. I've already qualified, so it doesn't really matter to me, does it? So I just don't know. I don't know what to do. Wow. <sighs> Bit unlucky that, wasn't it? Bit unlucky. Self screening correctly. <laughs> Classic memeing. Classic memory. No, oh, I'll see him east. That's good. I've been I've been a bit a bit off lately with the street with the uh, particularly YouTube. I haven't been streaming a lot there, but that will, it's all about a change. I think he uh I think he's done goofed here, hasn't he? Oh 
Right, let's get down the side here. Do some GFIs. You can go there so the other guy's got a bit more movement. I guess I want to stop him moving. He can go there, and that's that's pretty safe, isn't it? Don't need to do any anything crazy yet, hand offing wise. Could hit him, and then do a four plus three plus to hit the ball. So probably do want someone behind. He's left these three. Not going to get back now, are they? These are. Mm -hmm. Disappointing to fail a stand up. Should have probably done that last. Should have done the blitz first. Now I did save him first, but I could have re-rolled the uh, tried to re-roll the stand up roll if I'd done it last, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah, I have, I have, I have qualified for the World Cup in the YouTube. Yeah, yeah, this is. If you the World Cup playlist has has the various ones on and yeah I have I have it is on YouTube I have qualified um, so this is just a, just so that everything's as it should be oh he pow me pow me blodger I really didn't want to expose him did I but never mind In fact, he was safe from the tackle there, so... I wasn't that bothered about exposing him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've just been reveling in the glory of qualifying. I guess I did burn out a bit um, not playing that much, but it's alright, isn't it? Getting the GFIs in, Dirty Dino. Guard's in a good spot, isn't he? No oh, man. His guards his guard is in a very good spot. I probably should have got a scoring threat down the other side rather than this guy. I should have probably got a scoring threat, shouldn't I? Blitz him, block him. Needing a power on this one, really. 
and then go around here a little bit, but it's not good. The fact that I need the power on here is the problem, isn't it? I guess I could try to uh, move him. I could blitz from this direction, which, you know, I guess I could. I guess I could blitz from this direction. He could run around to there. He could blitz from there. Come back. He stands up. He blocks. I guess if once a blitz there, if it's a pow, people can just run through there, can't they? One, two, three, four, five. Mm. One, two. Not loving it. I mean, he gets in the way, so I can't. Oh, crikey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He can go out. Should have stood him up first. I guess he's not in the way there, is he? Should have stood him up first. Balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leap. <laughs> and then run out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I've run out of time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> run out of time. Got fucked by auto move. <laughs> so far as to say it was a nice play. It was a bit fucking desperate. It's just a GFI to two dice him. <laughs> and I'm getting a mighty blow hit on a dancer. But... I probably could have thought more about the leap move. Where was I here? One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI would have probably been the play. But then I couldn't, couldn't get that off, blocked off at the back either. I guess this guy should have gone one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. That's where he should have gone. Was here or here or something. If he doesn't power the dancer, then at least there's a there's a chance to score next turn, isn't there? Some two pluses with a reroll, it's possible. He does have the recovery though after he pops it, so could be tricky.
He doesn't have do he doesn't have tackle, so it's only hit with block or wrestle. Time killed me there, didn't it? Should have thought more instead of talking about it. <laughs> Should have been the hit on the ball. Shit. That's a it's a good scoring threat though, isn't it? A dancer there. Hitting with him, maybe he thinks it catches a strength three. Wow, why wouldn't you blitz with that guy? Making two GFIs to blitz now and doesn't have the uh, doesn't have the show hands recovery. No, oh, it does have the show hands recovery still. Maybe. Now I guess this way, man, he's still pushing the same square as he would have. He just did an extra GFI here for no reason. Really. Gets the power, of course he does. And he's got catches for the scatters. Sick no injured again. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Guard here is doing something, isn't he? I mean, at worst, it's a 4 plus 2 plus, which isn't really hard, is it? So I could two D the him away, then I could blitz him. Oh, but he's got he's got fend. So it'd be a three plus two plus. He could go there. He could go there. So he can two D him. These two can go here, so he can two D him, follow. He can dodge away, so he can blitz, and then three plus two plus out. Is there a better way than a three plus two plus? Three plus two plus seems bad for all the dice rolls in it. The chain push is not easy, but I mean that could be potentially too. If I could, if I could chain push, it'd be really good. But what I'd have to do is get. Yeah, I guess I could get these two guys in, push him to there, fill in the spot there, fill in another spot here, run around, blitz there, fill in that spot. Right, let's see if I can do it. I don't think it's really easy. <laughs> I really don't think it's very easy at all. Just sheer number of players to do it. Two into there. To get him. Another one into there. Anyway, he shouldn't be helping me. He shouldn't be helping me, Murloc Joe. He shouldn't be helping me. So I wouldn't... Don't say anything, because I don't want... I don't want help. You know, it's it's unfair on everyone else, isn't it? It is the World Cup, so I'm 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 not even going to look for a I'm not even going to look for a for a chain now anyway, so there can be no uh, no accusations levelled. Can't cancel both there. No, maybe I just one dice him. And then three plus two plus out. He could go in there. If I blitz in there, I can three plus two plus out. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ah, 
I don't think the uh, the chain was easy, but maybe Murloc Joe was just better than me. But it doesn't matter anyway. Oh shit, Squirrel Dude says exactly what I did. <laughs> but um, yeah, I could, probably could have done better than that. I really probably could have done better than that, but never mind. It worked, didn't it? That's all that matters. Obviously wanted to, I wanted to chain push, but I quickly ruled it out because it, I didn't see a, a way to easily do it. But um, maybe it was possible, but I really, really didn't see an, an easy way of doing it. Really didn't. Same as same as last time. It was one block. Nah, I'd, maybe you're wrong. <laughs> it can't have been that easy. Surely, surely it wasn't that easy. I can't be that blind. Or was I? We'll have a look afterwards, Murloc Joe. We'll have a look afterwards. <laughs> Surely I'm not that bad. Please tell me I'm not that bad. You do get tunnel vision though when you're playing, don't you? It is a lot. It is a lot easier to spot things when you're not playing. To be fair. Right. Safe. <laughs> oh, Brutal tree man action. Fucking peasants, man. Filthy fucking peasants. Oh, hey, be brave. This fucking thrower. What a piece of shit. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't see an easy chain. But. No one's perfect of it. And it could have been an easy, an easy one, that I, an obvious one that I missed. <laughs> yeah, PCR. <PCL. laughs> oh yeah, because then he would have gone in between them. I was thinking that would be a 4 plus 2 plus, but it wouldn't because he could just go through one, wouldn't he? So yeah, it still be a 3-2. Oh yeah, it probably was easy. Yeah, it probably was. <laughs> it probably was easy, yeah. Now that I think about it. Base the ball. Base, base, base.
Is he going to overcommit here, though? That's the question, isn't it? moment it's 10 versus 10 I think yeah it looks like he's over committing doesn't it but of course I could this could be the, the time that I roll a 1 in 36 of course or a 1 in 81 or something similarly fucking dumb. Yeah, it's probably me being blind, to be honest, Melody Joe. Probably me being a bit, you know, uh, what's it called? One, not one track mind. Uh... What is it? Uh, what's it called? Um, can't remember. Blinkered, innit? You get a bit blinkered when you play. Right, one in thirty six to the. Oh, I'll move him first. One in thirty six to lose, let's go. Oh, do you know what? again I've got blinkered there, I think I wanted to blitz the tackle guy and I didn't have to, I could have just ran through here, couldn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I haven't based him with a tree when I could have just based him with a tree. I just move all these guys around, make a full cage for him. Tunnel vision, that's the one CM East, yeah, tunnel vision. That's true, BZL, yeah, I also did immediately stop looking when you started talking about yeah, because I didn't want to get accused of anything. So... <laughs> Especially as I've already qualified. <laughs> that would be really dumb, wouldn't it? That would be really dumb to qualify and then get advice from streams, so yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I, will, I immediately, yeah, I immediately gave up that train of thought once. But yeah, I was, I was going to blitz him and then go down that side, but I just didn't have to, did I? So then I could have thought about where my blitz was going to be, which probably would have been a GFI blitz from the tree, I guess, at the end. Rather than that run that dodge would have been a GFI blitz from the tree. 
three dicing as tackle guy with mighty blow. That would have been way better, wouldn't it? This guy can still qualify with a win and some other things, you know. You basically need to win and then... Um, I don't know, but I just don't want to... I don't want to be accused of anything in Pro Augustus. It probably is against the rules, but yes, you can't enforce it, can you? Unless, unless somebody's streaming, basically. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much the only ones who could get accused of streamers, that's very true. At least at least the tree forced him to dodge. Oh wow, what a fad. Um I could make one in eighty one blocks, doesn't seem very sensible though. He could block. He could blitz him, I guess. But then a one in nine make, makes me dodge one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe just score. Go for the three one. Go for the 3-1 victory. Seeing as it's what... I would probably, if I had to score, if I had to qualify, I'd probably go for this, I think. I think this is how I would play. Um, if it mattered. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know exactly what the rules are, but I just wanted to play it safe and you know, definitely not get accused of anything. <laughs> Might just put the tree behind anyway to stop them all following. Probably regret it, but there'd be. I mean, if anyone's got a chance of going through with a with a win by one touchdown, it's me, I guess, because I have the highest uh, strength of schedule. Um, but I think I would probably go for two win by two. That's why I did the fucking bit of the the Larry Ward answer blitz on turn one. It was just, you know, had to go for the, uh, had to go for the. The win by two. It was he's just wasn't. It's hard for him. I mean, it is really hard for Brett against against Woodell's trying to win by two is just strength of schedule. Um, there's if you go to I'll I'll link you it. I'll link you it if you give me a second. Um, going into the final game, I had the highest strength of schedule of all the people on four wins and one loss. And seeing as we're playing somebody who's going to lose, that's we're all that's all going to stay the same. That can't change the strength of the schedule because we're all playing someone who's won four, lost one in the last round. So I will have the highest strength of schedule for sure. Um, so, but if I and if I only win by one, I'd be the second placed five zero one. So I'd need another draw from the remaining games. I mean, I don't know. It would be horribly, horribly. Uh, um, it 
I guess to follow that one up, I guess. It would be horribly horrible if... Uh, <laughs> horribly stressful if if it mattered. Because I would have to go for the two, I think. I think I would have to go for the two. Um... Oh, that was Dodge Guy. Oh, fuck. I probably shouldn't have stood firm then, should I? Of course I get, of course I get Kaz before, because I shouldn't. I'm not paying attention to the game. That's the thing, you know. Already, already, this is why I didn't stream the uh, the other games, the games that mattered live, because, you know, take the, take your eye off the ball, don't you? Thanks, God, it doesn't matter. Hello, Necropotence. <laughs> Necroimpotence. <laughs> yeah, you know, pissing about with that strength and schedule, I forgot that my dodge guy was on the LOS. Getting punched. Gets cast. Fuck's sake. Nah, it's alright, Augustus. I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? But, you know, that's the thing. It just literally doesn't matter. If it did matter, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be streaming it. For precisely that reason. Yeah, but if I imagine I'm not streaming, then there's no interaction with the chat, which is crap, isn't it? Nah, I don't want to ignore chat. It's kind of the whole point, isn't it? Right, so can fully split his team here. Well, I mean, it's already split, isn't it? So he can go all the way to there. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. Could, uh... Where's the blitz coming? I, dodging through here isn't good because he's got tackle, so the blitz has to come there. This guy wants to be assisted by... A shitter. That ties up his tackler somewhat as well. Very ties him up once he's uh, once he's fucking stunned. He could leap. So he could go there, and then he could leap to go through here. Where, where could he go? Hmm. Leap to there. Move him through at the end. All right, do this 3 db now. Get the dauntless guy away. Seems a good idea. Now Kaz! <laughs> Cage up versus wizard. <laughs> That's brilliant. That taking out the mighty blow on the guard guy, isn't it? He can herb derp him. He can come through this way with what double GFI or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess he could go there, and then he could go here. That's probably better than a fucking leap, isn't it? A leap's a bit fucking mental. TBH. GFI to go there is much better, isn't it? He's not the one with pass. It's four plus. Right, go one at least. Do you know, I guess I should base him because he's a scoring threat, isn't he? Alright. 
<laughs> yeah, squirrel dude. <laughs> it is dumb, isn't it? It's dumb how good uh, how good Treeman are. Like how, the fact that they get them, the fact that Woody's getting is just so stupid. Maybe I overcommitted there. Maybe this guy shouldn't have done what he'd done. But there you go. It is what it is. But. <laughs> I'm such a sour well, no, I'm not really a sour fucker, am I? No, I'm not being a sour fucker. I mean, it doesn't. It's just a. It's just a fact that I play worse when I stream. You know, now. It just is what it is, isn't it? It's not the. Uh, I'm not mourning about it. I mean, that was why. That was why I didn't stream. The 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 World Cup qualifiers that mattered live, wasn't it? Because. It was. It would have been a pain in the ass. Balanced in some world, yeah. Bit shit giving it 2D here, isn't it? Would have been much better to have made that a dancer so he'd have only had a 1D. If I'd thought things through. <laughs> it's funny when I love Joe. Three one probably good enough to get a second ticket, yeah. Probably is. Winning by two clear touchdowns is probably gonna be enough. I imagine. Just because I, I I'm sure I must have the strongest sense of, the strongest strength of schedule. Must have. Because I had the strongest strength of schedule before this match and we're all playing somebody on the same points so only if somebody will if somebody draws they'll get a better strength of schedule but then they'll have drawn and won't be on the same points as me so <laughs> no, no, good points, no. Oh. a little bit unfortunate but cost him a re-roll i guess what's what's where's the ball going though that's the question isn't it this is uh this is a tricky spot for him. It was shit that I only had the strength over here. Maybe I should have tied up another player with him rather than just because it was already quite strong here, so didn't really achieve a lot. Oh, he's just going for dodges. Oh, handoff. He's not going for dodges. He's going for a handoff. Now he can't go for the dodge. Well, he can, but if it fails, he's fucked. Pascal has it, so strip, strip comes into effect. So now the one day doesn't look nearly as bad as it as it would have done had he kept it. Obviously, if he kept it, he'd be looking at a at a uh, at an absolutely getting banged on kind of thing. So now we've got the assist there, two DM with strip, which is right there. Do have to block him first, I guess. Put him here first. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Don't like that. I can't base these. Well, they'd be based by one. Yeah, the dodge. Well, it it kind of stopped stopped doing something here because I could always hit him, couldn't I? So I think I put the assist in first, and three D him. So push doesn't stop me getting two D. Whereas if otherwise, if I didn't move this first. It'd be bad, wouldn't it? So yeah. Pushing this way is better if I can. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now he's got a player there. Fuck. Shit that he's only going to have one tackle zone on them, but I guess I've got to go for it. Alright, four plus pickup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe I should dodge him away back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe he should have come round to here. I was thinking I would have had cover, but I didn't really need cover, did I? I would, I would have liked cover, to be fair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then have a bit of cover. I would have liked the cover. I guess I wouldn't have needed it. Failed a three out of four. He's still in a bad spot though, isn't he? Dances either side. Tackles stranded a little bit. Yeah, but I should have just thought about the failure state, I think, there. I don't know. I mean, I didn't want to just fail the 1 in 36 from the catcher either, did I? But keeping, you know, the dodge from the catcher to base this guy would have been really nice, actually, wouldn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Could have put him there. That would have been really nice for the failure state. So I probably should have done that. But then, if I picked it up, and run around here, it would be nice to have got another catcher in, wouldn't it? So, I don't know. He doesn't have tackle, that's the important thing. And he's only got one reroll. And it doesn't matter. <laughs> so there's lots of good points to this. One dice without block. Wow, that was pretty. That was pretty greedy. That was. That was. I don't know. You know, if he brings this guy in here, he can blitz him. Uh, he can block him, blitz him, and then go out. And I was could have blocked him with a peasant, and then blitzed him, and then gone for the recovery, couldn't he? I think that's what I would have done. But now it's a 2 plus pickup, which is uh, substantially better than what it was. Ooh. Okay, are, are there any safe moves? No. No, there aren't. He can 2D him, then he can dodge and do something. I was going to blitz him, but I guess I'd, I really want to keep the uh, keep people in front, don't I?
No, I mean to be fair, sometimes you've got to do that, haven't you? He's in a he's in a tricky spot. Um, I don't. I don't begrudging. I'm I'm not begrudging him trying something. You can just hit him there and then hit the ball, but I've got the I've got the ball, haven't I? Which is the important thing. Elf's gonna elf. I could hope for a push here, couldn't I? Me too. Smiley face. <laughs> I got a pal. <laughs> that was pretty risky. But I mean, not not really because. No, oh, it was pretty risky actually. That was pretty risky. <laughs> that was actually pretty risky. Oh, yeah, I could have taken the boat down. Oh, did I roll the boat down? I rolled the skull. Yeah, I could have got the boat down. Yeah, I could have taken the boat down. Yeah. So it was a two plus, because otherwise he could he could one D here, couldn't he, and then two D, one D or something, or maybe two. Yeah. But if I sculled out there, then he two Ds him freely, and then two Ds. So that was maybe I shouldn't have made that block, but it was a one in thirty six to fail, wasn't it? Because yeah, both down protects it, push protects it. So it was a two plus. It probably was the right player to block there. <laughs> Um, I don't know, Chad Ksu. I don't. I really don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. But it looks like a possibility of getting a ticket in Rebel now, doesn't it? It looks a distinct possibility. Shame that I had to use the blitz on on the guy who was basing the ball, because obviously I'd have hoped to have blitzed him and then made it all safe easily. Do you know what, Bucket Bong? For some reason then, I just thought you were called Ronnie Pickering. <laughs> I don't know why. Who the fuck are you? Ronnie Pickering! <laughs> I don't know fucking why. Ronnie Pickering! <laughs> Who's that? Me! <laughs> Ronnie fucking Pickering. Holy shit. That's got to be one of the best memes, that, hasn't it? Ronnie fucking Pickering, holy shit. All I can do is dodge here, isn't it? I guess I could hand off to a catcher, because then the failure state isn't as bad. But... Blitz the tackler. First, and then dodge others away, or something, I don't know. Tree in. the tackler on his ass, far away from the ball. And that means he can go here, so if the, if the dodge fails from the dancer there's still something there. Right, and now three dodges with dodge isn't it? Looks to be GG and a double ticket. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Qualifying two out of three qualifiers is pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Grindel. If you if you qualify more than one way, you um 
you get to choose which which one to take. So, you know, there's a there's a small element of power, um, but mostly just the kudos, isn't it? Of <laughs> the hilarious thing is that I only entered three. I entered Rebel because it was the biggest, and I play in the Rebel League. The DBBL because it ha had the highest density of tickets, um, and I'm German now. And I entered the AD English one because I thought it would be easy. <laughs> and the AD English one, I just got hammered in. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe. Um, the ticket, yeah, it would go to whoever. So if I take the DBBL ticket, then this goes to whoever finishes fifth in Rebel. And if I take the Rebel ticket, then it goes to whoever finishes fourth in DBBL. Uh, should it be kudos? Kudos. Kudos, if you're American, isn't it? Kudos, I guess. Is that how you actually pronounce it? I don't know how you're meant to pronounce it. Right, I'm not, obviously I'm not going to do any stupid fucking blocks. <laughs> when, it's, when it's res. So at least I played it exactly how I would have played it if it was real. And, uh, and got lucky enough for the 3-1. Right, one second. Right, that was that was semi saying she's on her way home. Um, right, he has got the chance of a one turn, hasn't he? So this is a bit tricky. Uh, I guess I guess look, he's probably not going to score the one turn with movement seven and three, six, nine players. So there's the chance of um, a riot, isn't there? Better to set up for the riot, I think, than stopping the pushes of the one turn. GG. Thanks. I could have put. I could have posted that I was streaming in the Rebel Discord, couldn't I? But never mind. I forgot. <laughs> Cheers, Kogo. Um, which team do I prefer for the playoffs? I really have no idea. Honestly, I keep saying this, and I'm not even lying. I haven't. I haven't thought about. What team for the playoffs? So... Yeah. Really not sure. Maybe, maybe it's Wood Elves, because they're still Wood Elves, aren't they? I guess it does mean that, doesn't it, as Undor? Yeah. I haven't lost the touch. I haven't played for a couple of weeks, I think. But, uh... No, I have played. <laughs> I have played, but they've been, <laughs> they've been absolute shockers. <laughs> Having Saurus killed and warriors, Chaos Warriors killed and Chorf Blockers killed and <laughs> losing and drawing. <laughs> it's been pretty trash when I have played. Pretty unfun when I have played. But, um, yeah, I've been pretty pretty lucky here. Pretty lucky. I mean, well, this didn't matter either apart from... Apart from... It does give me some power, I guess. It, and it might not be enough. It still might not be enough because... Um, Somebody who's won five, lost one, might win by three touchdowns. Now that's obviously very unlikely, in <laughs> seeing as they've won four, lost one, and they're playing someone else who's won four, lost one. But it's still it's still possible, isn't it? If it's like say Amazon versus dwarves, no, no, they couldn't. Wood elves versus dwarves, they, you know, I I beat Corny Cricket three nil, which is crazy, isn't it? So it's still possible that it's that it isn't a qualification. To be fair. It is possible that this isn't qualified, so... But it doesn't matter, because they're already qualified. But I would like to qualify from this one, obviously. It'd be really cool to qualify two out of three, wouldn't it? Yeah, he's not even, not even trying the one-turner. 
throw it, <laughs> fail. <laughs> I got incredibly lucky, to be fair. The ballsy play with the war dancer was incredibly rewarded, wasn't it? Because instead of getting the war dancer Kaz from that foul, he got Kaz. I mean, that was so much luck on, on the first turn there. It looked like it was bad luck, failing the dodge, uh, double wanting the dodge, and getting stunned right next to a dirty player. looked like it lost me the game on turn one. But actually, it, that was maybe what won us the game, the fact that he made a gym foul. 44 blocks to 30, and against a lot of armor 7, so it's not surprising that I got a few, quite a few armor breaks. But yeah, the big, the biggest thing I think was his was his foul, his foul failing was the uh, was the biggest thing. But yeah, it's likely likely a qualify I would say from uh, from Rebel as well as uh, as well as DBBL now anyway looks pretty likely. Um, <laughs> so yeah, six and zero oh in in DBBC. Uh, five and one in Rebel, and then hilariously, the AD English League, one three four. <laughs> but I mean, I stopped playing after about four games. There, I stopped trying after about four games. There, so um, yeah. Uh, the turn eight. I don't know whether to wrap up the YouTube video before then. I'll wrap up the YouTube video before then because you know. And I'll write in the comments how easy it was. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.